Using the wand to address pelvic floor muscle dysfunction can help low back and hip pain. And here's why. The pelvic floor muscles work as a team with the abdominal muscles, the spinal muscles, and the diaphragm to stabilize the trunk. If there is restriction in the pelvic floor muscles, it can create imbalances in right versus left, or even in front versus back of the pelvic floor muscles. It can change their timing and coordination and overall strength, which can have a direct effect on how the other muscles have their timing and their ability to stabilize the trunk as well. Additionally, the pelvic floor muscles back up and share a fascial pain to the muscles that rotate the hip. So any restrictions or trigger points or tender points in the pelvic floor muscles can inhibit the rotators of the hip, which can change how we walk and stoop and move and how we're using our hip. Additionally, trigger points in the obturator internus on the sidewall here can feel like hip pain because it can refer out through the side of the hip. So using the pelvic floor wand to address restriction in the deep pelvic floor on the side here and all the way in through the back can help resolve pelvic floor muscle issues that are directly impacting the low back and the hip.